everybody today i am going to present fault map how to draw fault map from this geological map you can easily identify which one is fault map which was in horizontal map and which one is folded map etc here you see f means fault and also here you find f this f indicate fault line also the straight this straight line and the displacement of the beds these beds repeat here so this displacement indicate this is a fault line before going to prepare the structure or geological section you need to study the index of this map you see the index ordovician carboni sorry it is carboniferous 1 2 3 4 four bed under the carboniferous shale limestone wood shale limestone basal uh, conglomerate these four beds under carboniferous era that means this bed this bed this bed 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 this is this one 4 this four bed under the carboniferous era and ordovician era 1 2 3 4 5 6 beds so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 this six beds under ordovician era so at first your job is to identify the unconformity we all of you know how we draw unconformity if you don't know then go to my previous video where easily i have shown how you identified unconformity in different maps here the unconformity is this orange line this line this line is unconformity because this suddenly disappear here this will suddenly disappear here so this is the non erosion and depositional line called unconformity line okay so after identify the unconformity line we need to draw our section line so fold your map the section line according to scale with the help of the scale is the thousand means one inch 900 means 0.9 according to scale scale is one inch to thousand feet one inch to thousand feet means 100 feet equals to 0.1 inch then nine feet 900 feet means 0.9 800 means 0.8 700 means 0.7 600 means 0.6 this way just join a curve line freehand line this is the geological section after the drawing geological section you just locate the unconformity line bedding and others bedding line this is the unconformity line and this is other bedding line for the unconformity line then this is fault line this is bedding line this is bedding line this is bedding line just vertically cut across the bedding line this is bedding line okay one important job you have finished now we need to identify the deep for calculation we need one pair of strike line over the unconformity line or over the any beds over unconformity line this is 800 and 800 so just join to 800 over along this bedding line along this bedding line along this bedding line this is 800 this is 800 just join the strike line and Another 
हेलो 900 एंड अगेन 900 सो जस्ट जॉइन द 900 एंड 900 हेलो का हेलो इज वेरी क्लाइंट सो थर्ड दिस इज सेक्शन लाइन एक्स वाई फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट दिस डिस्टेंस इज एफ आर एम टी सो यू जस्ट दिस डिस्टेंस एंड पुट ऑन योर लाइन This is 900 strike line. This is 800 strike line. So D is this direction. 900 to 800. And use set square. The help of set square. Just parallelly draw the line. Okay. So you have finished the unconformity portion or upper series of the map. Now move. forward to lower series of the geological map we have completed this portion over the unconformity line we have already completed now we need to draw these bedding lines these beds beds okay you see this is 700 this is 700 just draw a strike line and we need another strike line first to get the throw with the help of this strike line if this strike line touches this thing line then it easily calculate the throw but this strike line does not coincide or touch this bending line so we need to change we choose another bending line we need to choose another bending line this is this bending line is line then we parallelly draw a strike line this is 800 just parallelly along this line we parallelly draw another strike line which touches 800 and go through this line you see here it is it touches 500 then the difference is 300 so it is so throw is 300 This is the up throw. This is the down throw. If you want to know how you calculate throw or displacement, then you go to my previous lecture where I clearly mention each and every point of how to calculate throw. Okay, so here the throw is 300 feet. This is the down throw. This is up throw. Now we need deep one pair of strike line. Sorry, we are. Uh, I am by mistake. I written 200, but it is 300 feet. Now I need one pair of strike line. This is one strike line. Parallelly, I have drawn. This is the 700, 700. Then parallelly, I drawn 600, 600. This is a one pair of strike line, which is deep of the lower. Series of the map. This that means the odd division series of the map. So along the section line, the distance is from here to here. This is the deep distance of deep, current deep. Okay. So just put this distance on the geological section and write this is 700 strike line and this is the 600 strike line. So it is this direction. Okay. Now use and just Move over the starting line, starting point, and the line. Then parallelly, to use your set square and parallelly draw draw line. Hello, parallelly draw this line, then this line, then this line, and also this line. Just parallelly draw along this line, or along the along the. deep okay you may also draw this uh bedding line with the help of the thickness here i show without thickness you also draw the geological map but if you use thickness then it is more perfect <clears throat> now 
the work is fault line i have already drawn unconformity and their other beds and also the lower series of the all the beds now i some work on fault line so here i need extend my fault line and extend this bedding line so touching point is here this bedding line should be touch here and our throw is 300 so use scale from here you count just 0.3 300 means 0.3 from here just you find 0.3 then you set square parallel and just move the set square and touches along this point and draw a Okay, you see, this is the line displays the down throw and this is the up throw. And you see, to remove this and this, so this is the down throw and this is the up throw. Now you use symbol and uh, index scale other uh, necessary. Write up and you <clears throat> and also prepare a index. This is the geological map for fault map. In that way, you may solve all the fault structure geological map. Thank you.